I intend for this to be my last try for the Taiwan swirl. I'd only planned on doing two, but one of them didn't work. So this is try number three, and I'm going to actually do two loaves with it. And so I guess it's kind of like a two for one. One of them I'm going to be doing very thin lines. The other one I'm going to be doing thicker lines. So the Taiwan circus is a circular Taiwan swirl, I should say. So the Taiwan swirl, if you can see this one, this one turned out pretty good. Um, the Taiwan swirls going back and forth, typically um, it's, well, I shouldn't say typically, I've done this often on the top, but not all the way through. And the swirling part is where you take your skewer and you go around the outside and it makes a swirling effect. So this, these are mirror image soaps, but if you can see, I can't really do that. See how it kind of goes in that swirl pattern. And this color goes all the way through the soap. So this is why we have the three dividers. I will have, excuse me, two dividers for three colors. I will have the color going all the way down. The skewer goes all the way down into the soap and then you will cut it horizontally versus vertically like a loaf of bread. So anyway, this is the one that I did uh, previously that did turn out pretty well, but I want to have one more go. I did have two of the fragrances in here. I actually did three fragrances in this one and two of them set up a little bit faster than I wanted to. I did do six colors, but I think they're too similar to really be able to tell. So this one turned out kind of cool. So, you know, if you turn it around, you get all these different patterns. Isn't that neat looking? So I had done on this one, the top, I did a pink and an orange or one side I did a pink and orange. The middle, I did blue and green. And then the other side, I did a yellow and an uncolored batter, but they're so similar. You really can't tell as much. You can, you can see the blue and the green, but you can't see as much of the other. So this is what it's supposed to look like. That was, so it's kind of interesting because this was, this was a middle bar. This one was a top one, so that's the surface design. This one was a middle one. So I've got two different patterns. This one, you can really see the Taiwan swirl. So that is more like what it would look like. And you can see the pulling effect there as I swirled it around. And then you've got the a lot more swirl. So the cool thing about that, that's gonna change as you use your bar. And I don't have a bottom, bottom one, but see here, this one, this is a middle bar again. This one, I um, you can see a lot more of the blue, and this one, you can hardly see any blue at all. You can see a lot of the green, but you can see a lot more of that white color. So it's a really, really neat design. And with my loaf, this, this loaf makes 10 bars of soap for me, and I still wanted to make 10 bars of soap. So what I will do is originally, when I was cutting them, I was thinking about doing it how I did the uh, wood grain, and it's very similar. But what I did then is I cut off one end, and the one end, kind of looks like with this design, when I, when I did the Oasis swirl, it kind of looks like that. Not as much of a pattern, but it's still a pretty bar of soap. And then I took those, I cut them into three, and then I flipped it over and cut those into thirds again. Excuse me, that's what I did the last, the last batch. And anyway, when I did the wood grain, I cut off the end and then I cut three slabs, and then I cut those into three bars. But what I discovered when I cut the last two batches um, including the one that didn't set up correctly, is instead of getting another tool dirty, I was able to cut each of these into thirds. And then I was able to just flip them sideways and use my multi-bar cutter that way. So that's what I'm gonna do again. Um, anyway, I'm going to, um, I'm using the Birchwood, Birchwood Ode Oud from Brambleberry. This is very well behaved. It does not discolor, does not do anything. So I know this one does not cause any issues. I'm using a very slow recipe and actually I, I grabbed the wrong oil. I was grabbing my, thought I was grabbing my castor oil and I grabbed my sweet almond oil, which is super fluid. So I have, um, I had to actually lower one of my oils, oils and up, um, since I had four ounces of, of, um, the sweet almond oil, um, I had to lower one of the oils because I really, you can't replace castor oil. Nothing replaces that. Um, so I had to change my recipe. Anyway, it'll be even slower moving. I'm going to be using Activate Charcoal from Essential Depot. That's going to be mixed with um, Blackberry Mica from Nurture Soap, and that's going to be my middle layer. Cappuccino from Brambleberry, and that's going to be mixed with a little bit of oil and mica. This is King's Gold, again from Brambleberry. And then I've got Pewter Silver, again from Brambleberry, mixed in with, um, this is Pearl White, again from Brambleberry. So I'm gonna do some oil and mica lines. My first one, I'm going to do super thin lines and uh, my batter should not set up very much. 
um, because this is again is my uh, my super slow moving recipe. So I'm going to mix my whole entire batch up and then divide it out from there. I'll pour one, swirl everything, get it out of the way, and then I'll pour the other one. But this one I'm going to do super thin lines, and this one I will probably do thicker lines. I might switch up the um, where I have the colors. I'm using exact same colors, but I'm going to do the pewter in this, the white on the outside, do the black, berry and black on the inside, and I'm going to do the brown and the gold on the outside. So that's my going to do first. And if I change it, I'll add it, um, excuse me, I'll change it on the next loaf. So anyway, I'm going to go get this stuff out of the way, get my gloves on, get my oils and get started.